Whoa, (laughs) you're not going to want to believe this one. A school educator named Leah Meyer has been terminated for the thought crime, scratch that, the finger crime, of sharing a news article about parents planning to keep children home on Pride Day. And now I'm going to show you two easy ways to join the fight to help get her job back by firing off a pre-written email and signing our petition at HireBackLeah.com. Andrea Humphrey here with Rebel News, and my oh my, cancel culture in Canada never ceases to amaze me, and neither does the double standard behind which people fall victim to it. On one hand, we are seeing more frequently educators taking advantage of their privileged time alone with students, not to teach them ABCs or biological facts, oh no, that would be too academic, wouldn't it? Instead, they seem to be relishing on promoting sexual orientations to them in the event to try to steer them down a path of becoming sexual justice warriors just like themselves. Don't believe me? Here are three examples. Exhibit A. A BC teacher named Maya Malakoff was so angry when a drag queen story time at a community library near her was cancelled, she had to retaliate. How? By making other people's five- and six-year-olds in her class watch a drag queen story time without obtaining parents' permission, and then boasting about doing so on social media with the hashtag SorryNotSorry. Exhibit B. Listen to Toronto teacher Jamie Zankai teaching 12-year-olds about gender diversity and transitioning, but not without warning them that if they're heterosexual like the majority of the kids in the class, it's their duty to become an LGBTQ plus ally. And it's not that you're either male, female, or trans. It's that it's literally whatever you want to be, whatever you want to call yourself, whether it's gender queer, gender fluid, gender unicorn, non-binary, you want to use non-gender neutral pronouns. You do you, and that's cool. But for those of us who do identify as heterosexual and cisgender, Our job is to remain awake, to stay woke, to keep becoming more and more informed. And don't rely on your only gay friend or your only trans friend to teach you everything, because it's not their job. It's your job to seek this information on your own. Still not getting the picture. Here's Exhibit C an Edmonton school teacher berating a Muslim student and others because some don't feel comfortable attending school LGBTQ festivities. And it isn't like that in all countries. As I told you, in Uganda, literally, if you, they think you're gay, they will execute you. If you believe that kind of thing, then you don't belong here. Because that is not what Canada believes. We believe in freedom. We believe that people can marry whomever they want. That is in the law. And if you don't think that should be the law, you can't be Canadian. You don't belong here. And I mean it. I really mean it. And it's not a joke, Manzoor. Yet were any of the teachers I just mentioned fired after proselytizing to minors in such a way? No, of course not. That form of heavy-handed punishment is reserved for educators like Leah Meyer, Leah is a mom, a respected member of her community, who was working as an education assistant at P.G. Gillen Elementary School in Saskatchewan, that is until June 12th, when she was terminated by the Good Spirit School Division's Board of Education. Her crime? Sharing this life site news article titled, Canadian Parents Urge to Keep Children Home from School on June 1st to Protest Pride Month. The article was a spot-on predictor of current events. Not just illustrated by that audio I just played you from that teacher in Edmonton, no, but also as seen in other examples like this CTV article, which states Ottawa Public School Board reported nine of its schools had absent rates over 40% on June 1st, with two schools exceeding 60%. Now that's news. So should educators like Leah Meyer then be punished for simply sharing it? The Good Spirit School Division Board described Meyer's sharing of that article in a private 
Facebook group, by the way, with no comment of her own attached to it as severe, damaging to the division's reputation and incompatible with its values and culture. But is the termination of Leah aligned with our nation's values? The values of freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of belief, and even freedom of press? I think not. And if you agree, join others right now by going to hirebacklea.com. There, in a matter of seconds, you can fire off our pre-written email addressed to the Good Spirit School Division Superintendent Jason Tross, the Director of Education Quinton Robertson, and the Minister of Education Dustin Duncan, demanding that Leah be hired back and put into her rightful position. And then simply sign and share our petition demanding the same thing and for which we will actually deliver to the Good Spirit School Division. Do you want our taxpayer dollars going to fund a tax on educators who simply share an article that doesn't align with the state's push to hold LGBTQ rights above all others? Then what are you waiting for? Stand for actual equality. Go to hirebacklea.com. I've got a sit-down interview coming up with Leah where you're going to hear her side of this cancel culture story. But in the meantime, fight to help get her job back. Go to hirebacklea.com. Fire off the email respectfully and sign and share the petition.